Well, all this week, it's been Museum Week in our Where is Marty segment. This morning, he's at one of the best in Baltimore. Yes. He, let's check back in with Marty now. We've just seen beautiful artwork so far. Marty, what do you have for us now? Well, we thought what we'd do is actually introduce you to Joan Mitchell. Uh, we're using a still photo. There are some great videos running, but it would require a technical change in color temperature and other things right on the air, so we're not going to. But uh, Cecilia and, and, and uh, 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 Carlin, tell me, uh, she, was, she was bad. She was tough. So Joan Mitchell, you know, she was a champion figure skater as a kid. And she brought that kind of toughness, discipline, physicality into her painting. But when I look at the videos of her, Carlin, I, I, I think a combination of, of John Waters, I think Iggy Pop. I, I think of a punk rocker mm -hmm. or she, somebody out there like John Waters. Yeah, She was a cool lady. like, And she also did not like to be put in boxes. She didn't want to be associated with any specific idea of womanhood or any art movements. She was really her own individual throughout her entire and, life. And these pieces are 12, 15 feet tall. If I was just a visitor, and you're the curator standing here, we're all visitors, just go through this right here. Tell, tell, both of you tell us about this. Well, she's known for making these two panel paintings and these larger than life, and she was fearlessly ambitious to just get up on a ladder to the very end of her life, even in her 60s. Um, she was very inspired by landscape and nature, poetry and music. And so what you're seeing right behind me is an abstract representation of some uh, wilting sunflowers. Now, you know what, um, uh, Cecilia, I want you to talk about something. We can get this close. I'm not going to touch it, but you can see the textures. This is an amazing exhibit. Normally you're kept a couple feet away, but you can walk right up to these. So, of course, keeping a safe distance, we really invite visitors to revel in looking at these paintings. And you'll see these surfaces built up, thick brush strokes, gorgeous color. She, you know, Joan Mitchell was able to combine colors you would never think would go together and really sing the way that they do. Listen, we could talk about this for hours and hours. I want to thank you both, being the assistant curators of this, for giving us your time this morning. Uh, Shameless self-promotion for the Baltimore Museum of Art, one of my favorite places, and a great gift shop. You'd, of course, find this catalog there, but it's never too early to start your Christmas shopping. And one of the great places is the BMA gift shop. By the way, the BMA is open until 9 o'clock tonight, and you can come in and see these amazing, amazing works, which honestly are better seen from across the room, because from across the room, I'm seeing things I'm not seeing up close. It's kind of wild. And you know, Joan Mitchell herself said she would get right up close when she's working and then step back to see it as a whole. That whole kind of view, that whole vista. Congratulations. Many, many years of work to bring the international art community's focus on little old Baltimore, Maryland. Nicely done. Thanks for hosting us this morning. Thank Thanks you. for coming here, Marty. Pleasure is ours. Back to TV Hill. All right. Thank Beautiful. you, Marty. Yeah. Get yourself to the BMA. If you've never been, it's time. We'll be right back.